almost all right there we go i believe that we are live we are live ladies and gentlemen we are live welcome 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 how's it going out there so great to see y'all popping into the room it is another beautiful day excited excited for today's session hello hello welcome just getting started yo listen y'all listen it is time it is time to jump into 2023 right we are here we are here it's 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 upon us i am i am so thrilled because today today we're going to be talking about what you really need to get ahead in 2023 and listen y'all listen y'all i have a bold prediction i have a bold prediction that all you're going to need is one tedx talk one to that talk. So listen, before we get started, I want for those of you who don't know me, those of you who are new to me, I want to introduce myself. My name is Dawn Fraser. I am based out of San Jose, California. And for the past 10 years, 10 years, I've been working with people to give birth to their stories. So basically what we're gonna what I do is I I look at the way that people can shape their stories in service of different things. So if you are an innovator, if you are a creative, if you are somebody who is passionate about getting your idea out in the world, you are in the right place. Today, today is day four of Ignitemus. One, two, three, and oops, and <laughs> four. Okay, I knew that this was gonna happen. I knew I knew that I was not gonna have enough hands to, to show you how excited I am about the seven days of Ignitemus. So today I brought a, a, a candle, okay? So we're gonna get this bad boy started. Oops, let's see if we can get this bad boy started. There we go. There's one and here is two. Can you start? Can you start? There we go, all right? We're gonna multiply this by two, okay? We're just gonna put this over on the side over here. And oh, you all can't see that. It's okay. It's okay. You have to. You have to trust that the candles are in the background. Okay, two times two, fourth day of seven of ideas that ignite us. Uh, this is a gift. This is a gift. My gift for you. Those people who are part of my community who have always wondered what it's like to either get on the TED stage or apply to TEDx. And so this is my gift as somebody who has been in the field for a long time, somebody who's actually really passionate about figuring out the best way to serve my audience. And I figured that during December, I really wanted to lean into this series where I just kind of show you some tips and some tricks about what you can look for as it relates to applying to TED and TEDx, okay? That's what the season that we're doing right now. That's what we're in right now. So hope that you have your pens and your papers ready, that your lighters are ready to light up your minds, all right? If you are uh, watching this on uh, YouTube or on LinkedIn, you are good to go. If you are on Facebook, you're good to go. If you're on Instagram, you might want to join one of those other platforms because I do have a couple of slides. Uh, today, not too many slides, just a couple. Um, but I do want to show you a couple of things that's happening in the whole ecosystem of TED and TEDx that you might want to be able to, to check out uh, visually. So if you're watching this on Instagram, you might want to join the Ideas That Ignite Facebook group. Okay, Ideas That Ignite Facebook group, you can pop over there or just join my LinkedIn. All right. And you'll be able to see some of these slides or just go over there afterwards and check it out afterwards uh, after the, the live is done. All right. So let's get this popping. Let's get this popping, y'all. So uh, one of the very first things that I want to talk about is what's happening with the status of TED and TEDx events going into 2023. OK, so for those of you who, who are familiar with uh, the format of TED and TEDx, uh, they're live events. For the most part, they've been live events. And so curators have now taken the time to get those licenses secured for 2023. So what does this actually look like? What does this actually mean? All right, I, I wanted to share with you the TEDx event listing. Um, so I'm going to pull up my screen here um, and present to you a little something in terms of what is happening in the world of TED and TEDx. So let me see here. Yep, got it, got it. We wanna share just this event listing. Okay, hello from Ottawa, Canada. So glad to see that you are in the house. 
you know, since you are the first to pop up and to say hello, we might actually use Ottawa as an example. All right. So I'm going to take myself and show you all what is popping in the world of TED events. Okay, so those of you who can see my screen, right now what we're looking at is the TED event, uh, event website, okay? So if those of you who are following on, on Instagram, basically right now we're looking at TED.com backslash TEDx events, okay? Backslash uh, TEDx backslash events, all right? Now on this particular website, it shows us all of the opportunities of events that are happening worldwide, worldwide, okay? in 2023. Now, the thing that is great, great about the timing that we are in right now is there are an abundance, an abundance of really high quality events that have not happened for quite some time that are going to be looking for speakers, okay? So one of the things we're going to talk about today is, first of all, what are these physical events? Like, what, are these, what is actually happening in the physical spaces of TED and TEDx? And what's happening virtually? What is happening virtually online that makes us a fascinating and awesome time to actually lean into the videos and things that are created as a part of, of, of being on the TEDx stage, okay? So here we go. So the first thing that, um, um, let's see, my friend from Ottawa, you know what? I put United States here as, as a populator. I'm actually going to put in Canada, okay? So just to give you all a snapshot of what is popping on in the world. We're gonna put Canada and the United States in it to our filter over here. Welcome, welcome, welcome friends on all the different platforms. So great to see you all. All right, so, so far right now we put in Canada and the United States. Upcoming events, you can see on my screen here that we put in 2023. Oh, it doesn't even have the United States anymore. We just have Canada. All right, so this is a shout out to my friend in Ottawa. All right, so Ottawa, here we are. We're looking at Ottawa, TEDx Laurentian University, right? If we squeeze a little bit more into different parts of, of Canada, we see TEDx Montreal, we see Queen's University. We have quite a few things that are popping up. Oh, yes, indeed. Okay. So if we just start to look at the list of things that are happening in Canada, we see, we see that I don't even know how, how long does this list go. Okay, 32, 32 results just in Canada uh, that are gonna be looking for events. Oh, you might also notice up here that I can put in standard events. Uh, standard events are typically the ones that have the better quality within the TEDx ecosystem. I can speak a little bit more about that a little bit later, but trust me, you wanna look for either like TEDx women events, TEDx standard events. There's a couple of really high quality events that you wanna be able to look for. Okay, so it has taken me back to the world map of the United States. Okay, you know what? Let's do this instead. Let's do this instead. We're going to just put in United States, okay? Just to get a sense of how many how many events are are on the horizon for 2023. So if we look at this particular screen, there are at least 50, at least 50 different events on this screen alone. And there are seven pages, seven to nine pages. So we're looking at a, at least, at least just by glancing at what is in store for 2023. We're looking right now in terms of those people who have secured licenses across the United States, at least 400 events, okay? At least 400 different events who are looking for ideas, people who have ideas, okay? So let me take this out for, for just a quick sec. Let me go ahead and stop this. I want to I, I wanna talk to you all for, for just a quick second about these numbers, okay? 400 different events are currently scheduled between January 1st, 2023 and, these, and November, I think right now the last date that I see on this is November, October, November 4th, November 10th, 2023. Okay, so we're already looking at the fact that there are curators looking for speakers. And the fact of the matter is a lot of people can now, now start to get prepared for this journey. Okay, so this is one of the one, first things I want to talk about is the fact that stages are opening up, right? Stages are looking for speakers and are looking for speakers that are going to have like a little bit of a runway between now and November of 2023. Okay, so 
One of the things that I wanted to think about that you want that I want y'all to think about as it relates to 2020, 23 is how are people consuming content, right? How are people consuming content right now? You're consuming this either through like LinkedIn or YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. I'm like on all of the damn channels right now. Okay. All of the damn channels. Right. But I want you to think about the fact that going into the future, people are going to continue to consume this, this content and other pieces of content. My own TED Talk that I recorded, that I didn't record, but that was recorded in 2013, right, is still getting love every single day. People still ask me about uh, if I can come and speak at their college, at the university, if I can talk about storytelling, right? And so what I want you to think about are some of the trends, some of the trends that are happening within the storytelling world and that are happening within the TED and TEDx world, okay? So and any, anybody out there, like a soccer fan, if, if there's any like soccer or World Cup fans, just give me like a, a thumbs up in the in the in the in the heart or like an emoji or like a score or a fire or something like an ignition, you know, or any type of sports. Actually, any type of sports fan. You don't have to be, but that's you know, just curious. Okay, the reason why I bring up the sports analogy right now is because when we're looking at the way that 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 some of the best athletes that are performing in the World Cup, uh, the way that they think about the game, they go to where the ball, not where the ball currently is, they think about where the ball is heading, okay? They think about where the ball is heading. Yes, thank you, thank you. I got a football emoji. I love it, I love it. I was a track and field person, but you know, I, I'll take any sports emoji right now, okay? So, but we wanna think about like where the ball is headed, right? We don't wanna be where the ball is at. We wanna be a couple of steps ahead of the game. So I want you to think about what people have been consuming lately in terms of online and video content, right? The past couple of years, it's been all about things like TikTok. It's been things about, about like Instagram, Instagram Reels specifically, not even photos, but Reels or live video, right? And if you think about TED and the brand TEDx, they have been ahead of this game because every single TED talk, every single TEDx talk is TED, is, excuse me, is 18 minutes or less. 18 minutes or less, okay? So if you think about the opportunity, if you are a thought leader, if you're a creative, if you're an innovative, if you're an innovator, excuse me, and you're looking to get ahead of the curve, TED and TEDx is an excellent opportunity. And considering that now people are starting to open back up their stages because we're getting out of COVID, people are now starting to plan for those events for 2023. This, my friends, is a prime, prime opportunity for you to step into what could potentially be a, 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 a crazy, amazing 2023 for you, okay? So I first want you to just like to put that into perspective. Yes, forward thinking, progressive mindset, it's absolutely critical. We've got to think about like a couple steps ahead of, of the game here, okay? So that was what I wanted to start off today's live stream about, was just talking about why today is this unique opportunity and what you should be able to do about it as we're stepping into this new, this new chapter, okay? So... One of the first things that under this, under this umbrella or under this container, the understanding that now is a good time, a lot of people have been asking me, is it better to do something like a podcast? Should I write a book or should I aim to do like a TEDx talk? OK, that's that's been kind of like one of the main the main questions that people have been asking me about, like, what should be my main attention and focus now? I want to take you back in for, for, for just a quick second, because the, the premise of this question implies that we want to be able to build our platform and to do it quickly, right? When I go back in my own experience, the way that I was able to build my platform was by going to live storytelling shows, okay? So for those of you, who, anybody a fan of The Moth, you know, uh, I know that there's some, some Moth fans and buddies who are probably out in the audience, but I would go to these, these events, these storytelling events, I would stand up and share stories five minutes or less, okay? Five minutes or less. And little by little, I just started practicing, just like sharing any type of story, a crazy story, a funny story, a wild story, whatever. But, you know, this is actually what ended up being uh, like uh, my... Uh, the biggest saving grace that I, I never even realized because I was thinking at the time, should I write a book? Should I be a speaker? Like, what do I focus my energy on? Right. This five minute video, a five minute video that I had of me speaking at the moth and another storytelling show was what I was able to use to submit to TEDx. I mean, excuse me, to TED. I spoke at TED. I didn't speak at TEDx. But there's a reason why I work with people specifically around TEDx. Um, but, you know, I'll get into that a little bit later. 
Anyways, that five minute video I was able to submit for my TED talk. And lo and behold, it got accepted. Okay. Now there's of course there's a couple of steps that, that, that go into in between that. But the thing I want you to think about is that it was a lot faster for me and for the people that I've worked with to land a TEDx talk than it takes them to actually write a book or to get traction around a podcast. And I, and I want you to think about that for a quick second. Why, why would that be? A, a TEDx talk or a TED talk is 18 minutes or less. 18 minutes. So you can only talk about one main thing, right? If you're writing a book, you might have several chapters. You might have to like, you know, like really do a lot of like research. Uh, that's going to take a lot more time. OK, so in, in my opinion, you might be writing a book that's like maybe a couple pages, you know, something that's like easy to, to digest or a PDF. Right. That might be a different kind of a beast. Right. But if you're looking to write a book book like a, like a New York Times critically acclaimed type of book, that's going to take some time. It's going to take some energy. It, the exact same thing is true of applying and getting and landing and spreading your TED or your TEDx talk. OK, but in my opinion, it's going to take less time for you to land that talk, to deliver that talk and to spread it than it is to do a, a great book or a great podcast or anything else like that. Plus, plus the second thing that I want you to consider is the platform. If you were to look right now at the, at the TEDx YouTube platform, the TEDx YouTube platform has 37 million, 30 seven million subscribers okay so if somebody puts your video and puts the idea that you want to share on that platform the chances of it igniting and really getting huge and really being able to influence even like a couple of people it's just exponentially better it's just exponentially better okay so that's why i want you to consider the platforms that you're aiming for as you're actually looking to step into 2023, okay? What platform is going to make the most sense for you to amplify your brand, okay? In my, in my experience, in my opinion, landing a TEDx talk is going to be one of the best ways to actually do that quickly, effectively. And, just, and, and from there, you're, you're, things just start to take off in a, whole other, in a whole other way, okay? Is that making sense so far? Like, give me, give me a thumbs or, or, or a thumbs up if you all kind of see where what we're going here with this here because this is all about like going to to where things are happening in the future right and leveraging it leveraging that opportunity now okay leveraging it now all right all right great awesome i see that y'all are with me okay so so the next thing i want to talk about is like what we can do to actually land this talk right how can you actually go ahead and land a talk quickly effectively how do you prepare now OK, so one of the things that I just started doing is I started launching my own mastermind, my own group of people, people like you, people who are on, in this audience who can actually come together from different walks of life. If you're an environmentalist, right, if you're a pet enthusiast, right, if you're into to snowboarding, right, if you're just like into like, you know, some type of like generational wealth or Bitcoin, right, there's people coming from all different walks of life. And what we've decided to do is to come together in community so we can actually like learn from each other's ideas, really to shape each other's ideas, right? So we're starting a new cohort of ideas that ignite, ideas that ignite, okay? In January of 2023. And one of the things that I wanna first introduce you to is what is our framework? What is the framework for ideas that ignite, okay? I'm gonna break this down to you. We're actually gonna talk a little bit more about this tomorrow in a lot more detail. Uh, this is the first time, the very, very first time that I'm going to be like actually showing you a little bit behind the scenes, behind the scenes of what it's like to be part of this community. Oh, snap. I see that Tanya is in the house. Tanya was actually part of our Ideas of the Ignite cohort back in 2021. Yes. And so proud. So proud of the sister. You know, now getting some paid speaking gigs. I need to catch up with you about that paid gig that you just got, Tanya. Um, but, and, and and yeah, just so thrilled for, for the alum of this program. But I'm going to show you a little bit behind the scenes about what we do in order to refine your idea. Because refining your idea is really going to be the first thing that you're going to need to do in order to land that TED or TEDx talk in 2023. 
Okay, so tomorrow, make sure you bookmark this time and this space, 2.30 p.m. Pacific time, 5.30 Eastern, when we go through the entire framework, right? I've never, ever, ever, ever done this before, but we're going to be doing that tomorrow. But today, I just want to give you a snapshot of what it entails, a snapshot of what it entails, okay? So the acronym is actually IGNITE. It's actually, let's see if we can get that within focus. Oh, snap, we can get it into focus. Look, uh, kind of, sort of, yeah. Focus-ish, okay? Ignite, I-G-N-I-T-E, okay? The I stands for the idea. We're gonna be like looking at how we can get the idea down to one sentence, okay? One sentence. That's gonna be the top of our, of our, of our pyramid, okay? But from there, we wanna get all the different components that are really gonna make your, your idea stand out, okay? Once again, we're gonna be looking at some of the principles about where people are going, what people are thinking about, right? So in order to really think about what people are thinking about, we're going to do some, 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 um, uh, some brainstorming. We're going to do some brainstorming tomorrow. Okay, so bring some pen and paper. I'll be letting you know about it. But A, just as a heads up, I want you to think about what, what in your topic of interest or expertise is new or noteworthy. What are people starting to think about, right? What are, what are people starting to, to inquire about, right? So, for example, in my in my own in my own interest of Bitcoin and crypto, I've been following this this news about like what's been going on with FX or like what's been going on with these different crypto and blockchain, right? Because is it really a path to, to destruction or is it really a path to intergenerational wealth, right? I, I I don't know, but I'm fascinating, fascinated. If you're the kind of person who's into Bitcoin, then you would want to be able to present where are people, where where's two steps ahead of, of where people are at now. People are thinking about this this way. What should they be thinking about in the future? Okay. So that's one of the clues. That's actually the N in, in Ignite. It's going to be new and noteworthy. Okay. But considering that today's topic is talking about like where we're going in the future, why now is a great time to apply to TED and TEDx or to get ready to apply to TED and TEDx, right? We're all talking about two steps ahead of the game here, right? We're recording this in December, but we are already up in March, 2023, seeing you on that stage, right? Because you put in the work today, okay? You put in the work today, okay? So anyways, we're gonna be looking at what is new and noteworthy. We're gonna be talking about that idea in a sentence, and then we're gonna be talking about the story, okay? Those are the three main pillars that we're gonna be like leaning into tomorrow, okay? Um, if anybody is interested, I would love to also see if we could play a snippet. Actually, you know I'm going to do this tomorrow. Uh, but just to give you a heads up, tomorrow uh, we'll be playing a little bit of a snippet from a TED clip that is just released uh, this year, 2022. It's called, You Don't Actually Know What Your Future Self Wants. You don't actually know what your future self wants. This is by uh, Shankar Vendantam. Uh, this is a TED Talk. Oops. Let's see here. Let's see. Give me one quick second. Got to connect this a little bit. Battery is a little bit low. Let's see if we can get this connected. Sorry, y'all. Okay, there we go. All right, back in business. Okay, great. So yeah, so go ahead and check, check make sure that you, you check out that uh, that TED Talk because, yo, it is incredible. We're going to be talking a little bit about that future self. So if you're able to actually check out this video, it's awesome. Once again, it is, um, you don't actually know what your future self wants. This was recorded in TED 2022. I'll be playing a small clip of a, a small snippet of it tomorrow, you know, but essentially what I want you to, to, to come away with today, today, what I want you to come away with are these three main things. Right. First of all, that if we look at live events, if we look at the number of live events that are happening in 2023, they're starting to look for speakers and specifically ideas. So I'm not even looking for speakers. If you're a motivational speaker, this is not for you. OK, but if you are a person with an idea who knows how to speak or who is looking to improve their public speaking skills because you do have an idea, then this is for you. OK. If you're a thought leader, if you're an innovative, if you're an innovator, if you're somebody who is ready to, to actually like lean into your expertise and to package it, to package it in a way where this is going to live on YouTube forever and ever. Amen. Like who knows when YouTube's going to go out of business? I mean, ever? I, I don't think it ever will. 
But one of those things we want to do is to have those, 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 those minutes, those 18 minutes or less that show that you took the time to package your intellect, you, to package your curiosity, to package your message to the world. You've taken that time to actually make this happen and it lives on the internet forever. It lives on the internet forever or wherever you have it posted, right? And the amazing thing is that this is the way that people are consuming content. People are going to places like TikTok, they're going to YouTube Reels, they're going to YouTube Shorts, right? So now is a great time to not only to lean into the fact that we have these stages opening up, but we also have the opportunity to get in front of the eyeballs of a global audience who knows the brand and can potentially know you, okay? So that's the first thing I want you to think about. The second thing I want you to think about is what path makes the most sense for you, right? Some people might say podcasting. Some people might say a book. Some people might say a talk, right? In my opinion, the TEDx talk is going to be the fastest way, and I can show you how in my ideas that ignite mastermind, okay? I can show you how three to six months, we've had amazing success getting people on from, from some type of an idea, something that, that's brewing inside of them to a concrete idea, to landing a TEDx talk, to sharing that talk with intriguing insights, right? With like solution-based stories, right? Things that really move a crowd. And of course, like in a way that just like amplifies your brand, amplifies your potential and leave the audience with something that they know that they have changed. Okay. So if this is something that you're, that you're, that you're passionate about or want to know more about, definitely feel free to check out the ideas that ignite cohort. More information is at ignite. Go ahead and put a, a banner up here for those of you on the interwebs. Let's put a banner. It is ignite dot donjfraser.com there we go ignite dot donjfraser.com for those of you who are on instagram you can find the link in my bio okay and essentially what this is is we are going to be starting in january the second week of january with a 12-week cohort that's specifically designed to help you find that idea refine it in this group container this other group of people who are just absolutely amazing right and over the course of those 12 weeks we submit to those events that we just saw, that we just saw at the top of the live stream, right? We're gonna be looking for the ones that match you. What city you're in, what country you're in, what your idea might be, any specific areas of interest that might like make a, make sense to, or affiliate, right? We'll be going through that exact same process of figuring out because of the 450, trust me, child, trust me, okay? Trust me, there's gonna be at least a couple that, that we should be looking for if you have a great idea, if you have the foundation of a great idea, I want to hear from you, right? Check out ignite.donjfraser.com. We'd love to have you in the next cohort. Uh, applications will be accepted until December 21st, December 21st. And then after that, we'll be um, just kind of like doing some interviews because we want to make sure that this is a good match for you, right? I only, I only have so many people that can serve during the course of the year. Um, and so this is one of those opportunities when I can actually do this. Other times of the year, I'm like working with Spotify, I'm working with Google. You know, I'm, I'm very blessed to be able to have that opportunity to kind of spread my wings and do different things. But January is going to be the best time for me, for you. So I just, I'm just so thrilled. I'm so thrilled to, to be making this happen. Make sure that if you're enjoying the, these days of Ignitemus, that today was the fourth day of Ignitemus, that you tell a friend that you join me tomorrow, tomorrow, when we break down Ignite. This is the first time I'll be presenting this, this entire framework to, uh, to the public, okay? So, uh, so I hope that you have a wonderful day. You know, step into your power. You know, I, I can't wait to, to see you on the other side. Let's get some magic popping, y'all, okay? Let me see if there's any questions. If there's any questions about today's session going to go over to the comments. Let's see here. Let's see here. Any comments? Oh, hello, Jermaine. We were just about to, to, to shut today's live down. We kept it nice, tight, and sweet, but looking to make sure that we don't have any comments. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, great, y'all. So join me tomorrow. Um, 
And if you're interested in, in learning more about that cohort, make sure you check out ignite.donjfraser.com. Ignite.donjfraser.com. All right. I hope you all are doing well. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Peace.